Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to destroy week two of the, um, what is it called? Boss Rush on the hardest difficulty. So, if you've done a week one and you were able to do it, um, week two is significantly easier. So, yeah. First boss is Human Torch with, um, Redouble Determination and Hot Blooded. So, basically, don't bleed him too much because he's going to get a lot of smolders. Alright, just use anyone who's really incinerate immune. It's a very easy fight. So, I'm just gonna bring Colossus in. Um, I did the this, like, the first, like, two minutes it came out. Um, because I was rushing to do a crystal opening and they needed some extra shards. So, I don't really... <laughs> I rushed through it so quickly, so I didn't actually get to, like, fuel the fights too much. So, yeah, one thing I like doing is parrying all of these hits on the special one with Colossus against Torch getting those armor stacks up and someone called me and ended my recording fucking thank you uh, I started my recording again love to see it that's annoying fucking stupid ass call spam messages uh, annoying annoying shit dudes these spam callers are really annoying and we got no crits that's fantastic Okay, so our luck in that fight was kind of ass. Um, but, you know, Colossus, he did it easily. Come on. Wi-Fi. And the wife. Wouldn't be a fucking Marvel video without the servers crying a little bit. So. Now we can move on to this Annihilus fight. For this, you could really just use Doom or Quake. Um, can you get the fuck out of here? Um, Doom or Quake. Um, I'll use Doom just because I just... I think Quake's probably easier, but Doom is more fun because I have him as a rank 3 6 star and I like using him. So, and I got hit. Fun. I really don't like Annihilus. This SP1. I'm so bad at evading it. It's like a delayed evade you have to do. But I just, I'd rather just parry with Doom. Oh, that was questionable right there, but whatever. Casual 14k heavy, beautiful. Throw this off. Throw SP3. Nihilus is dead. So basically, one of the. E so if you just want someone for this fight, bring just a Mystic God, Symbiote Supreme, Clairvoyant, pretty much anyone works, Quake. Anyone really can deal with Nihilus pretty easily once you know how to fight him. Um, next fight is Cole. This is like an anyone fight. He ha this league, you can, I'm pretty sure, let me read the notes, you can bring in anyone, aggressive, um, yeah, you can literally bring in any single character in this fight, you can bring in Falcon, War Machine, literally anyone can solo this fight, so don't worry about bringing a counter for Cole, he's not really even a fight, <laughs> he's it's super easy, so yeah. Let's just kill him with Archangel. We got no we got no poisons from that, which is kinda tragic, but okay. Let's just kill him. Okay, he's dead. He's a nobody fight, you don't really need to bring a counter for him. Next we got Ebony Maw. I would you definitely need to bring a counter for him. Him and Invisible Woman are probably the two hardest fights, so I would definitely say Quake. He has kinetic transference, which can really kill you. Aggressive, faltering mind, and then critical setup. So you need to be aware of this note is when the attacker ends a combo with the same attack they ended their previous combo with. So if you do a 5 hit combo back to back, the last attack is a guaranteed crit. And if it's a guaranteed crit against Ebony Maw, he will, it'll miss him because you can't guarantee crit um, against Ebony Maw. So watch out for that. I would definitely say Quake. If you have a 5 star Quake, bring it. 5, five star Human Torch. Just bring anyone that could just destroy this guy. Um, Captain America Infinity War, obviously insane. Um, you pretty much can't go wrong, really. Just bring a science god, or just someone you can knock him down a lot, and you should be fine. But Quake, definitely number one option. Next, we got Invisible Woman. This is also another trouble fight for maybe like newer players in this difficulty. I could see this being annoying. It's basically just a big ass Invisible Woman, and she has heal block, long distance relationship defensive while the force fields up which is really annoying and masochism on top of all that so she's definitely a very annoying fight um if you have quake once again just use her 
Nick Fury, obviously. God, Gio Kana. Um, oh, I forgot shooting masochism. The masochism, definitely very scary. So, yeah. And she also plays really defensively when she has her force field up, which I realized doing my first run, because I didn't use Quake for my first run, so I was just kind of speed running through it. I thought Archangel would be better. It wasn't that good, because she just literally didn't attack me. So, yeah. Use... Okay, she's invisible now. I don't know how that happened. I don't really know how she works too much, but... All I know is she's invisible now, so that's interesting. So, yeah, if you have Quake, pretty much just bring her. This is definitely one of the hardest fights... Um, you could pro this is definitely probably the hardest fight. Oh, I thought the fight was over, so I stopped to block heavy. But she almost killed me with one hit. That was fun. And then there's Namor at the end. Pretty much you could just use anyone, I believe. Wait, let me see what the nodes are. I think it's a very easy fight. Um, physical, 80% physical resistance, so you pretty much won't do any damage unless you crit. Um, spite ooh, and rapid metabolism. So pretty much anyone can work here. Just watch out for Spite and um, the physical resistance. So yeah. Spite might kill you, but. Okay, well, we learned today that you cannot heavy counter that. Can you? Okay, you can, I guess, I don't know. I'll learn the timings one day, but today's not that day. Let's just get some heavies up. Oh, he had spite. So, see, this is what happens. See, I didn't really, I didn't do that on purpose. I mean, I did the, okay, hold on. I did that on purpose to show you what would happen if you let spite get out of control, obviously. Um, okay, I thought I could live that special three, but I guess not. So yeah, spite definitely is a node, so keep that in mind. But if you're curious, this is another week that you can just quake every boss. I'm 99% sure. I was checking all the weeks. I'm pretty sure, unless there's like any nodes, just character-wise, I'm pretty sure you could do every single week with Quake by yourself, except for, there's a Vision Arcus next week, I think. So, I mean, you can still Quake him, but you have to play it a certain way, and it's not that fun. So, yeah. Um, hopefully you guys are just video, good like, and subscribe how to do week two if you've done week one then it's significantly easier so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video give a like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one